My name is Tim Miles and I'll be your instructor. Today we're going to cover a lot of material on how to create a VBA macro inside of Microsoft Excel 2007. And as you can see, some of the things that we're going to cover today are all deal with programming. It's not necessarily just going in and recording a macro and then rerunning it. This is true programming and I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started with creating a really nice and very powerful Excel VBA macro. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to understand the Excel object model. If you don't understand the Excel object model, it's going to be very difficult for you to program within it. The object model is literally just your application, the workbook, the worksheet, and the range. And I'm going to show you how to think about each one of those things. And I'm even going to show you a few shortcuts on how to access those same objects within your code. Right after that, we're going to create a very simple recorded macro so that I can show you what Excel gives you, but also to give you an introduction into the VBA editor and all the different tools within that view, within that editor, that can help you as a developer. Once we're done with that, we're going to review some of the programming basics. And when I talk about the basics, what I mean are, what's a variable? What are the different control structures, if then else? How do we create loops? Those types of things. I'm going to show you how to think about your variables because the variable is the foundation of everything you're going to do within your VBA program. So and then we're going to go in and create a user form. And this user form is going to change the color, the background color of a worksheet. And I'm going to show you some of the different controls and some of the things that you must do as a developer. Remember, the, the more complex your application or the more complex your macro is, the more work it's going to be for you as a developer. And even when you go out and you create your user form, there's still a lot of work to do even with that. There's some tedious work that needs to be done, but it will make your life much easier in the long run. The last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to debug your macro. Debugging is where you're going to spend a lot of your time as well because you need to know the difference between a logic error and a syntax error. And there are a lot of different tools inside the VBA editor that can make debugging your application considerably easier. But, like I said, we've got a lot of material to cover. Hold on. 